Hello Team Churchill, I'm going to talk you through how to install Discord using uh, an Apple device of some kind. I'm using an iPad, but it's pretty much the same if you're using an iPhone. So the first thing you need to do is go to your App Store, and you're going to need to search for Discord. Is. Once it's come up, you're going to need to click on get, or I've already downloaded it once before, so for me it's just a down arrow. So I'm just going to download the app. Okay, that's downloaded. So now you need to open it. So you can either obviously go back onto your main screen and open the um, Discord app using the icon it's just created, but it just says open, so I'm just going to click open there. Wonderful. So if this is the first time you're using Discord, then you're going to need to register a new account. If you already have an account for Discord, by all means, just log in. But um, if you're doing it for the first time, click on register. That's the purple button at the bottom. Now you're going to need to pick a username. You're going to want to make a username that is going to easily identify uh, your child. Um, so if you're not comfortable putting their full name, maybe their first initial and their last name, or their first name with their last initial, or just their full name if you want to, this is a closed server, so it'll only be um, school members, uh, parts of Team Churchill who are on there, it won't be visible elsewhere unless you join other servers as well, but that's up to you. So I'm going to put in Mr. Newport pad because obviously I've already got a Mr Newport somewhere type in your email address and password and then I'll meet you at the next screen okay welcome to the next screen it's asking you for a birthday now it's really important and I said this on the uh, pamphlet that came with discord you must sign up as an adult an adult must be the one to create an account there's two reasons for this. Number one, it's just good internet safety to have an adult in control of um, whatever their child is doing online. That goes for anything they do online. Um, secondly, uh, it is actually against the law to ask anyone under 13 for their information. So lots of people think that um, things like Facebook and Instagram and you have to be over 13, it's not actually a legal right to be over 13 because of the content that's on there. The reason why a lot of these things say you have to be over 13 is because you're not actually allowed to collect information from children who are under 13. So you physically can't give them an account because you can't ask them for their information. You're not allowed to. So uh, it's the same thing with Discord. If you try and sign up with a birthday that is your child's birthday, it will actually lock you out and tell you you can't sign up. It's very clever like that, so it must be an adult who makes that um, account. So I'm going to put my birthday in, and then I'm going to click on create account. So there we go. You may have to verify that you're not a robot. That's absolutely fine. So just click on the pictures that it asks you to do. Wonderful, welcome to Discord. You have successfully created your account, good job. At the bottom here, it says join a friend on Discord. This is what you want to click on because you're not searching for random servers, you want to join a specific one that we're inviting you to. So click on join a friend, and this is where you type in the um, Discord link that you were sent with the letter home. Now it's very important to note that the link that was sent home is timed. We're doing lots of things to make sure that no one joins our server who shouldn't. So one of those things is that the links we're sending out actually have a time limit on them of either a week or two weeks. So you must make sure that you sign up for your account in good time, because if that link times out, you'll have to communicate with the school and try and get a new link sent to you. So they don't last forever. So type in the link and then just press join server. Once you've done that, you're on the Churchill server. And at that point, you need to follow the next video, which is all about verifying who you are 
with Discord and with the school. So go and check out that video. There's also a, a pamphlet, a, a sheet that came home, which should talk you through that as well. So get yourself verified and then you can start having fun on Discord. I'll see you there. Bye.